Better late to a party than never there, as the saying goes. After seriously missing its 2023 deadline for its first flight, a new type of Uncred cargo drone called Nuva V300 finally took to the sky in January, proving its makers, aircraft maker Papistrel, could be onto something. Word of the Nuva V300 first reached us more than four years ago, and the thing got our attention right from the start. After all, we're talking about a remotely piloted drone that can carry as much as 300 kilograms of stuff to wherever it is needed in a heartbeat, and deliver its load even to unimproved landing surfaces. The VTOL is a hybrid electric aircraft that relies on eight electric motors installed on wings and powered by in-house developed batteries, as well as a cruise engine at the rear to get going. This setup gives it the ability to climb as high as 8,000 feet, and allows it to keep going for as much as 300 kilometers when fully loaded. When the cargo it must carry weighs just 50 kilograms, the range increases exponentially, reaching a staggering 2,500 kilometers. The drone has been imagined primarily as a tool to deliver commercial goods, but it could easily be adapted to support military missions, search and rescue operations, humanitarian aid flights, and ship-to-shore deliveries. One particularly spectacular thing about this drone is the way it can be loaded. That would be through the nose of the fuselage, a choice that comes with several advantages over other designs, including simpler loading and more payload configurations. The Nuva can accommodate more than 100 cubic feet of cargo, or three cargo pallets. It is in these configuration that the first-ever Nuva V300 recently performed its first hover flight, being controlled by means of a fly-by-wire, triple-redundant flight control system. We are not given the specifics of the flight test, but Papistrel calls it a success, and announces further tests ahead. It's unclear how long the development process will take, Initial plans were to have the drone in the skies by 2023, but it'll last for at least one more year. The prototype that was flown this week will be joined by a second one by the end of 2025. When operational, the drone will be delivered to customers complete with a ground control station developed by Papistrel's parent company, Textron. The tech will allow operators to control the drone in automatic beyond visual line of sight mode, including when it comes to the drone's transition from vertical to forward flight. Although most of the companies involved in the development of such aircraft like to brag about how interested the world is in using them, Papistrel mentions nothing about potential buyers of the Nuva V300.